hello hello oh karen is gonna be so we're on different sides this week than last week <laughs> well it's your turn to go first so yeah. hey. <laughs> hello well, hi greg. P -K -E greg p greg that's a new I, name to me yeah new name hey kp hi ginger Oh, I gotta say hi. PK is a lurker. Hey, Ginger. KP. No, P hey, Doris. Doris. Is it KP? Is that the one that's always mad at me? No, that's Karen Williams no. that's always mad at you, always <laughs> barking at you. But but KP's her friend. <laughs> you can take it out on her until she gets here. <laughs> hi, Landon. Jump to be loved. Well, hello, hello. Look at you, girl. Where you been? Love and Jim. Been out loving some junk. Yeah, she she does find her some good loving junk. Yes, she does. What? No, she says. <laughs> she says, don't take it out on her. <laughs> and then I saw your new video. The baby's so cute in the backyard picking flowers. Is that new or is that an old one? Okay, then I haven't seen that one yet. And if y'all go to my Facebook page, I'm doing police cartoons. Y'all can check out. You're on Facebook now? I mean, not Facebook, uh, YouTube. YouTube, yeah. He'll go, he'll go, what is it? Shooter what? Uh, Shoot Texas podcast, even though I don't have a podcast. <laughs> Shoot Texas podcast. I'm a looking. It should be on my side because I subscribed. But What's the link? Uh, Martha's finding it now. She's going to put it in. Hey, I'm trying to talk. Yes. I'm coming to Texas. I want to come to Round Top so bad. Well, Round Top is happening right now and it ends this weekend. The 30th is the last uh, day. But the next one will be in October. Uh, October. So, there you go. And I just girl. I put Landon's uh, YouTube in. It's under Tammy's because I'm working under Tammy's name today, protecting my own name. I'm incognito. Yeah. There it is. <clears throat> Hi, Julie. Hello, hello. Sonia. Hey, Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Did you did you shoot anybody today, Landon? Not yet. Still, they still young. Uh, aren't you off you're on your way out <laughs> kp just subscribe hello what yes julie T tammy's venue is so hot she must have security oh <laughs> is that what she i was like what did i do i don't know what did i do <laughs> i should have if nobody knows who i, I should have arrested you on air that that's what i was gonna say you should have arrested her <laughs> <laughs> this is my son landon <laughs> For those that are in here that don't know him, he's hiding his his head. <laughs> he's the one that does our logos. He made Martha's logo. He did mm -hmm. my logos. Uh, and the opening that people complain about is too fast. <laughs> he did my intro. He did. He does all of our intros because um, he's somewhat. He was, was supposed to be a film director. Instead, he became a cop. <laughs> well, now he's a people director yeah yeah <laughs> he just wanted to tell people what to do yeah he's one of the few of my children that like vintage but you know only his style vintage yeah, so i came over here to shop i found something online. what'd you find oh, that cruel yes. that this is so not like landon he wants this <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah, but it's not, the same, it's not it's the same flowers the baby was picking. Yeah. What do you want that for? I don't know. Taylor might like it. Frame it. Because she's collecting stuff that, like, pictures have been in, like, what do you call this? Border? Or... Oh, she is? Yeah. Um, cruel. Embroidery Cruel. Um, there's so many names. It's different types. You right? just call it needlework. You're usually good. Needlecraft. Needlecraft. Oh, it says it on the back. <laughs> Needlecraft. Yeah, see, KP says film director, cop. 
Yeah. <laughs> Julie says, thank you for what you do, sir. Oh, it's my pleasure. I love handling the people I handle. <laughs> he He's a good talker, too. He talks them out of, you know, their situation and stuff like that. So. See, if Mike Cameron does too. the same thing. That's the, I, the best part of a police officer if they can de-escalate. Yes, and that's not me. I don't. I'm not that kind of person. I'm. I'm like you're going down. <laughs> I don't know where he gets it. He didn't get it from me. I'm just saying. Well, like they say, just make sure at the end of your shift, everybody goes home alive. <laughs> so, including yourself. He's part of everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. It, um, part psychologist too. Yeah. Well, I do have that in the hair salon business. You just listen. Uh, mm -hmm. And and how do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> I hate those words. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. What does it say? He's tatting himself up of bats. Look at this. <laughs> he got Not a bat on his man. elbow. It flies when he bends his arm. This but you never one. talk about the mom tattoo. Mom is a bat, isn't it? It says mom. Was it you? You also got another one that says. Yeah, in Chinese, but I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <right>. That's you. <laughs> you never get a foreign language you can't read. <laughs> That's what I said. I tease him about that. Hello, George. Hello, hello. And then he got one for uh, the new baby coming. Um, show those. He's got an M&M, a sticker, and Kenya. Uh-oh. Which one's for the baby? The, Oliver. Which okay, is that? Oh, okay. Oh, that's a shape of a cat. Oh, Frankie and Oliver got it. And M, uh, M and M with an M on it for Macy. Macy. And then the sticker is an F. Um, it's a little sticker F because Frankie loves stickers. She she was the best person to come over here and pull off all my stickers of my inventory stuff. Sometimes before I was finished with it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but she's real good about taking those stickers off. She's so patient with that. <laughs> One of my sons has lots of tattoos as well. And, oh, no, he couldn't just do mom. He put my name <laughs> on the back of his neck. I can't do that because what if I get a new mom? <laughs> you won't never get a new mom. It doesn't even look like it's his you mother. You get it like a girlfriend mom. or something. Yeah, I put charm on him. Yeah, I bet you did. You put some toilet paper on there, all right. <laughs> it's you know, mean Tam Tam is a little bit long for a tattoo. Oh, I want to put another word, not mean. <laughs> Listen to him. See, y'all think I'm so nice and sweet to hear my kids talk. I was horrible. I I beat their butts. See, my daughter tells me I was a good mom. <laughs> what are these tales? Uh, no, she's got some too. We both got some. Uh, I got to get that curiosity. What was it called? Curiosity? Oddities and curiosities. Oddities and curiosities video out. It's a hundred, I mean a hundred, an hour and a half long video that I did. So I want to break it up in parts, keep y'all wanting more. But it was. Are you going to sell the claw? Yes. I got two of them. I'm giving one to Margo because, you know just right up her alley and then the other one i'll bring to sell we should do a midnight margaritas and you can sell it there There you go there you go sonia loves your tattoos hi hazel atlas hello oh i've got a good tattoo story that i just found out a few days ago hey, what my youngest son cameron he likes this uh artist her name is poppy so he got poppy tattooed on his arm and he posted it well poppy herself saw it and commented on the tattoo but she's oh. oh that's cool okay so in california a girl named tori saw poppy who she followed comment on this guy's tattoo 
And so she commented on this guy's tattoo and they started talking and she now lives in my home. She's my daughter. -in -law. My daughter. Say, Sorry, Cameron, you know? ours is the same, you know. <laughs> I didn't know that's how they met, met through him oh. a picture of his tattoo. Um, her son, Cameron. Oh. Yeah, not my son, Cameron. We no. both have a son named Cameron. Well, no, because the vines have a tour. Cameron's oh, oh no, this one's from California. Yeah. And I got somebody tattooed my art. They tattooed the uh, Mattress Mac. <laughs> yeah, the art Landon did for Mattress Mac. Somebody got that tattooed on their body, Mattress Mac, on their wow. body. Landon's, Landon's design. You should get to tattoo sign that on them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, very sad. Too bad he didn't get, he learned his lesson though. Uh, he didn't copyright that or, you know, sign it somehow or something. Well, so, who knew? I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah, it was just a, a goof, you know? Yeah, that, it was. <laughs> and yes, Hazel Atlas, he's got Martha on the back of his neck. This, this is my older son. And thank you, KP. I thought it was a fabulous story myself. And I just, I did not know it. I just knew they met online. I did not know it was because of the tattoo. Or that the actual artist had commented on his tattoo, which is cool in itself. So hey, Ginger, Ginger uh, son. An amazement convention. Be a dispatch. He didn't. Yeah, Lennon says he could still do dis dispatch, but that's not totally the excitement, but you hear all the excitement. Yeah, but you're the one who's guiding the officers and it's still exciting. Yeah. Or he could work for do 911 dispatch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. KP's son met his girlfriend at a, a convention, like a anime convention. Oh. <laughs> I met mine at a haunted house. You met Taylor at a haunted house? Yeah. She was working, but she didn't have a mask on. <laughs> she scare you? <laughs> I met Taylor. Jesus. Seriously. Here at she, she came over here for a party with her boyfriend. Oh, that's right. I remember. We had a, they had, the kids had a party here and, and his wife showed up here. Right. <laughs> uh with with a his wife it was his uh, just his best friend's sister at the time <laughs> hello george I, I miss saying hi and cat law i miss saying hello to you hello oh, hello you don't hear we chit chat we have a little chit chat sir don't disrupt my my uh time here I have everything sitting aside and tomorrow I'm having, if y'all haven't seen it tomorrow, my uh, cell with David tomorrow evening is going to be all glass. We're going to bring back the clear glass and you can't even see it. It's blending into the wall. <laughs> well, cat law tattoos are not for everybody. I don't personally have a tattoo. I don't my have husband one. husband doesn't have a tattoo, but ends up every one of my children got tattoos it's just the generation you know it's different yeah and I, i'm surprised that um that my kids did i mean because their dads didn't have one either so i just how that came about i don't know yeah it became my my brothers had tattoos so you know the kids saw them and my son-in-law has tattoos. He's got his children's name on his arm too, like Landon does. Out of five kids, I have one child that does not have a tattoo. Four boys, one girl. Can you guess which one don't have a tattoo? Cameron. <laughs> no, Cameron does. Roland. Uh, Roland. My third boy don't have a tattoo. Landon and my youngest and oldest are the ones that have the most and uh Cameron only has one on his arm. Landon designed a tattoo because he's an artist. He designs, does a lot of designs. He designed a tattoo with all of the siblings' initials in it, like in a mm -hmm. diamond shape. So all their initials are in there. And um, 
three of them got it. Is it three or two of y'all? Just two of y'all. Just you. Okay. Dang the youngest God. one didn't because he had, they do have other siblings from their dad's side and they weren't in it. So he didn't want that one because he didn't want to leave out his other siblings. Well, yes. I've long said that if anything ever happened to my, my hubby, I would either get a wedding ring tattooed onto my finger or I would get a G over my heart. So you said that? For you, I can see her. They're in their nineties, and he, when he finally goes, she's gonna get it at her ninetieth. <laughs> going in her ninetieth age. Gonna get a tattoo. <laughs> That's okay. My daughter-in-law took her grandmother, um, and this was just what six years ago or something. Took her her grandmother to go get a tattoo. Her grandmother. And uh, she wanted, and she's a funny lady. That lady is freaking hilarious. But she wanted to kiss. What it was it? What did she want on there? Kiss, kiss my ass on the on her, you know, higher butt cheek, you know. And how far did she get? And she wanted it to stop just the K or the. No, so, so it must have said something else because she ended up getting uh, hello. Oh. So. Oh, she she wanted just hi. That's what it was. She wanted to say hello something. I, I forgot how that went. Maybe it's hello and she ended up getting to hi. Yeah. <laughs> After they did the H. Okay, maybe it was hello. I thought it was a kiss something, but um, it was hello. And they got the H done and she's like, no, stop. Just put hi. Just put hi. <laughs> Don't put hello. <laughs> she was ready for it to stop. Anyway, it was funny. However that story went, it was, it's been a while since I heard it. Well, our granddaughter, Asia, loves her poppy, Gary, you know, so much. She had him write poppy on a piece of paper and she took it and she had them copy that exactly over here on her rib cage. Mm -hmm. And then later on, a, a year or so later, she had him write, I love you. And then she went back and had him do the same thing. So it says, poppy, I love you. Landon has his granny's, uh, his grandmother's Ron, handwriting. Ron's too. And um, his wife does too. Uh, have their handwriting written out something on, on them. Through yeah, their I handwriting. Get, uh, yours says do the dishes. Do the dishes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, KB. KB's here. Hello, KB. Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday <clears throat> to you as well. <laughs> We're just doing a chit chat, and my son's here chit chatting along too. He just got off work. What are you here for? Oh, no, I don't know. I need for a haircut, man. But it's really... Well, you know it's Tuesday. Thursday's the day to come for a haircut. Yeah. You got to come back this week anyway so you can get the kids Easter baskets. Well, I'll bring them everybody Thursday and you do your photo shoot. <laughs> Thursday. Well, you know, Cat Law, it really doesn't matter what your tattoo looks like when you get older because you don't usually expose the parts of your bodies that the tattoos are on that actually change shape as time goes by. You know, they don't yeah. really change shape on your arms. It's the other ones that do. And when you get older, you just don't wear things that expose those anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, gravity takes over. I get that. It's a weeping willow teddy bear that's been unstuffed. <laughs> I have a cousin who's a, a little bit out there, but she got a snake tattoo around her leg from the top of her thigh to the bottom to the, her ankle. I used to tease her all the time. This is my, my grandmother that's a hundred and fixing to be 104. It's on this side of the family. I used to tell her, can you imagine grammar? When you get grammar's age, girl, that tattoo is going to be curled around your ankle. Your ankle. <laughs> that will be okay. And it's wrapped all the way up her leg. <laughs> just, just not a pretty sight when she's in a dress. It, it <laughs> look like a worm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I, I'm not about tattoos. I saw the prettiest tattoo once that, you know, that was a simple tattoo. And it was on Nicole Ritchie, the, uh, Lionel Ritchie's daughter. Uh -huh. Used to be Paris Hilton's big buddy. She had 
what was like a rosary that came around her ankle and rested on the top of her foot, the cross part. And it looked, it was very simple, but it, it looked so realistic in the way that the artist made it lay on her. So foot. it looked like a piece of jewelry on top of that. Yeah. So it looked like she was really wearing an anklet rosary with the, the cross just kind of resting on top of her foot. So pretty. Hey, I give it to the artist though. They, I mean, if you're going to put something on your body and it be, you know, to look like it does that, you know, from a picture, I find that, you know, interesting that they can, a lot of them do copy it right over though, but before well, they used to, still, it all. It, it's hard to copy, but for so long, tattoos were this, you know, these yeah. beautiful images and artistry and, but now it seems like tattoos are moving into these little, just little disconnected little pieces of doodle art and things like that. Doodle art. Yes. I all see a the, lot of doodle you'll, art. You'll, you'll see it all, all up and down their arm, different little patches of doodle art. None of them are go together. And yeah. that's the new trend now. Mm -hmm. They're not connected. But I do sit there and still say, dang, when I'm in my 90s and I got this sleeve all over me, how's that going to look? You know, <laughs> you know, and I'm a little old fragile lady and I'm all covered in tats, you know, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> My sister said when she was in nursing school, she had to go in and I, I think she was going to, I don't know if she was drawing blood or giving a shot or an injection or whatever it was, but she was, this guy had a whole sleeve on his arm and she was kind of looking at his arm and he goes, honey, do you see the eye of that cobra right there? She goes, yeah. She goes, he said, just aim right there and you'll be just fine. <laughs> that's, that's the spot to go get the blood in the eye oh, of the cobra? The injection. It was, it was, look, it was 40 years ago. So okay. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> I, just, I don't remember what she was going to do, but I remember what the man said to her and how the tattoo was the guide. So tattooed on his arm and you changed it to wino <laughs> <laughs> well that was fitting <laughs> you can go and have images tattooed over your other images mm -hmm. my one daughter has halfway she started she couldn't afford to keep going she was trying to get a tattoo removed it was because i, I hear that's more expensive i told her i said look you guys just don't get a tattoo that you can't cover up with a sleeve mm -hmm. or anything that you can't cover up with a shirt. Mm -hmm. Well, she got one right here and she has regretted it ever since because she can't wear shorter sleeves to work in a lot of the places she used to work at the schools and stuff. She would always have to wear a jacket or a longer sleeve to cover it up. So mm -hmm. depending on your work environment, they want yeah. that covered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, don't get that face tattoo unless you're already a well-established rap artist right. with lots of money in the bank, okay? I do. Oh, my God. I do know somebody that you're mentioning that now. She and I'm sorry. Uh, this is just, and I know her well, uh, but she has a shark tattoo right here on her eye. I'm sorry. That just, that's just not... I don't see how that's right in any situation, unless yeah, you're I mean, a shark you, diver, maybe. <laughs> if you're working in a career field that, and you know that's your chosen field, and that's what you'll always work in, and tattoos and things like that are accepted, are part of the culture of that type of, of work, and that's right. fine. But if you haven't decided what you're going to do with your life yet, don't make a tattoo decision that's going that's to right. you not culture. have an established career whatsoever, much less a regular job. She gets that and it's hard to get a job. Nobody wants you like, you know, with this on your face like that. I mean, I'm yeah. sure they got makeup now that will cover it. They but. just now do. But I mean, come on. Do you want that for your your pre-kindergarten teacher? Yeah. I'm like, what kind of life you live that you've got this? You know, it is. I'm sorry. 
unless they're kids, the kids' parents have tattoos and they come to school and that's, you know, fine for them. But if the kids' parents don't have tattoos and or yes. if they don't believe in tattoos, they don't want a someone who's supposed to be a, you know, a figure mm -hmm. to display that as if it's, you know, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's okay, but that's not what they want to tell their children. So I'm sorry, as much as you're not supposed to prejudge, if you see someone like that, you're going to have your thoughts, your original thoughts and thoughts are judging, you know, I guess, until you get to know the person. But you're, you know, it's going to ramble in your head like, hmm, what kind of life did they live? What made them get that, you know, tattoo? Why did they decide there? You know, I mean, it's just it's just going to be a thought process that will happen. It's inevitable. Well, I don't because we have so many tattoos in our family, even the girls, you know, I, my thoughts don't go to, oh, there's somebody bad. It's just that I don't think, oh, they are the principal of a cop of a, of a yeah. school or they are this or that, you know, or I see something, I go, oh, I bet they have to use makeup. When I find out they do something for some kind of work, I'm like, oh, they have to wear long sleeves. Like my daughter does. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, not trying to prejudge, but, you know, I'm sorry, but thoughts do go through your head like. Well, some cultures, tattoos are part of their culture. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if you if you look around the world, that's that's a, a rite of passage is to get your first tattoo. And so <laughs> times change. What is it? What is that uh, culture of tattoo with a teardrop? That's a culture thing. You know, I you don't know. know that people. <laughs> That's good people. <laughs> Johnny Depp in Crybaby. That's what that is. No, no. I always heard if um, those guys that have that, suppose, I don't know if it's true. This is just. I mean, they've I, been in prison. I've been in prison that killed somebody. Oh, okay. That's something that that has to do with that. Like they're t crying a tear for them. I don't know. Just like. Okay, since I've heard that rumor, I'm going to back up from you. <laughs> you stay on that side of the fence. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> yes, and there's like, a tribal. You, like go on, you, yeah. you only have two items, sir. Would you like to go ahead of me? <laughs> <laughs> See, she heard that too. You so. have a, a pack of Marlboros and a ball of Jack, so please go in front of me. <laughs> I don't want you looking at me and getting any ideas. <laughs> You know, I smile at everybody. <laughs> Don't shoot the lady that smiled at you. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay. It's I don't know. Yes, yeah, Samoan yeah. culture is heavy with tats. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know how we got on. It's random <laughs> talk. Because Landon walked in and took over my show, huh? <laughs> yeah. He came in flashing the new tats. He's still shopping, man. He's over here shopping. I like the kind that I can wear for a little while and then wash off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have been known to, to spend, you know, two or three bucks in a bubble gum machine trying to get the right tattoo out. <laughs> <laughs> I want the butterfly. <laughs> The kids do love those, though, when we get those uh, rub ones with the ice or whatever. They did love those. And then right, they look so disgusting. Have a good show. I got my goods. What's the other one, Landon? The no, frame. He found no, a frame. It doesn't work. It doesn't fit. Oh. It's just a frame? Mm -hmm. He was trying to frame that cruel. Ah. Uh, cruel. It's cruel. C R E W E L. Cruel. Not it's cool. just the type of needlework, Landon. I probably don't say it right, but <laughs> you know, I don't say words right. right. It's cruel. Crew. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. He said that in the end of a my uh, video at the when we went to that oddities thing, right when I was cutting it. He said it, and I was like, "Oh wait!" I started back up. Say that again, and he's like. <laughs> like and subscribe he was he was my little kiddos you know since they weren't there <laughs> well use him separate and go wait for the kid yeah <laughs> wait for my kid this time not the kids <laughs> uh-huh 
Uh, hello, Hi, Jen. Jen. Hello. So small. Were you watching us on your phone, Karen? Are we so small? There you are, Karen. You just missed Landon. He come to say hi to the mean one. <laughs> hi, Joan. Hi, Karen. Are we bigger? Woo! I'm big. I saw my face there. I need to back up. <laughs> and you can see my frizzy hair. I don't see your frizzy hair. Good. That's what happens Are we when big you're enough now? Can you see us better? <laughs> I need to scoot over. I'm not in the middle of my sign. There. I just turned my camera. Too much what? Too much what? <laughs> Too much what? <laughs> Thank you, Cat Loss, because we both look good. Border. <laughs> Too much border. Oh, too much border. We, when we were small, when we looked small. We were just talking, Karen. We weren't. We waited for you to have the sale. Yeah, you missed Landon. He was. He was. Uh, he wanted to say hi to the mean one. <laughs> and he specifically Landon. asked for you. <laughs> he thought it was KP. I said no, but that's KP's. That's uh, Karen's friend. You want to take it out on her? And KP says no. <laughs> Look, never let a man with a gun take anything out on you. <laughs> Or taser. Ooh, I'd almost rather be shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Karen comes in, guns a blazing. <laughs> uh oh, Landon, she's gonna call you later. He's already left. He's driving out. And David's going to umpire today. Ugh. I swear I'm I'm in between. Staring at us hurts my eyes, and I have to use the glasses to read the chat. And you I got the fan up. going? Yeah, the fan's going. Oh, my room is chilly. It was chilly outside. It felt good, but back here it's harder. Warmer. It's only 57 outside, so you can't make your air conditioner work when it's that kind of temperature. <laughs> <clears throat> well, well. It's nice to see everybody today. I got all my round top videos done, you know, since we went out there and I didn't get a whole lot. I just, I set everything on the table. I have three piles set up round top. I have the honey hoe pile and then I have a miscellaneous pile um, from just, you know, here and there thrifts. So I was doing that all morning so I can get my, uh, stuff on the shelves back here. <laughs> well, I've got a video that comes out tomorrow morning. A haul video. Ooh. Martha's got a video. Is it a shop along or a haul? It's a haul. It's a haul from last fall. It's a fall haul. <laughs> fall haul that really fell through. <laughs> fell through hey, the cracks. <laughs> there's going to be a part two to the fall haul. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she got started. That's the good thing here. She finally gotten it going. <laughs> it would have been worse if I had filmed it last fall and just now posted it. So Yeah. <laughs> Although I've done that, had a video sitting there and totally forgot that it's there and thought I posted it and never got posted. I've done that. And then I post stuff and I left it private, forgot to put it public. <laughs> Then there's well, that. I'm thinking maybe I can just go back to my old video raw footage and re-edit it in a different way and post it. <laughs> Would anybody notice? No. They'd go, no. oh, your hair is short. Now you're going to pay attention. Yeah. We're going to see if she does this. Fall haul, he says. <laughs> yeah, because I bought it in the fall. It's been sitting over here in this, in one of the big totes. You know, not the little totes. The, the big totes. Oh, then that must be a big haul. It is a big haul. <laughs> is that why it's in two parts? Yeah. Because <laughs> I've got a little table and the table was full. And I'm like, that's it. Can't put no more on the table. <laughs> I am not going to stop filming and put it away and put more out on the table. <laughs> it's not bread. It won't spoil. It won't that's get no, uh, no, um, what is it called? A mold, mold on it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's a 
if it's fabric and it's in the hot and the cold, hot and the cold, it might get a moisture in the air. You might get something. Well, tell me, Dave, it's hot and cold out here all year long. And I've got all this fabric. And it does good? Well, you're, it's closed up. It's well, still good. It on the bottom of a stack. I guess it could. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> maybe I need to bring the dehumidifier out here and start using it. <laughs> That's what we yeah. use every time the washing machine breaks in the dining room and floods the floor <laughs> i keep saying we need to do some crafts y'all we need to get our craft on well uh, look i'm trying i'm I, I can get to my sewing machine now here's here's a little upcycle i just did oh i saw that that's so cute the little kids denim jacket I found a little pink denim jacket made it cute with the daisies cute. on it <laughs> um i got a lot of flannels that i want to do stuff with and uh, some pillows i want to do i have i don't know i have a lot to do i just going over to do it and i even said oh it feels good outside it'd be real nice over there in my shop leaving the door open while i sew for the yeah. cats to come in and out yeah i have to shoe them a lot of times i don't like them staying in my sewing room you see, you got to have to start picking up screen doors. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we have a screen door that the screen's missing. It got ripped off. And David bought a screen for it just yesterday, the day before. But he hasn't put it on yet. Well, you know, you got to. By the time he does it, it's going to be too hot to leave the door open. <laughs> we only got this little window, y'all, of this air that we can leave the doors open. This Thank one little window. Karen. <laughs> You know, I, I'm trying to make a list. I, I used to live by list. My kids all made fun of me. Now my daughter makes lists too. But now I, I forget to look at my list. Me, I may, I live by list too. But I keep starting new lists. Yeah, Tammy and, uh, has. Let me look, write this down. Didn't I have a list? <laughs> if you look at Tammy's desk where she's sitting, just about any place your eyes linger, there'll be a There's, list. There's a piece of paper somewhere. There's paper There's somewhere. There's a list over there. Because she can't <laughs> find the other list. And she needs to write it down before she forgets it. So she starts a new list. <laughs> you should That's why I like an open calendar. calendar. The right list. Do you remember that? Yeah. You put that on that list. Where is it? I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's so funny. You need, you need sticky notes. and Stick them along your laptop screen. Yeah. Pretty soon it'll be covered. Hello, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Don't you like to go out and have your car completely covered in that yellow or green pollen? Oh. Yeah. Except for except for where the cats have walked on it. You see little cat prints. Yeah, I'm with you, Karen. That's why I always start new lists, because where did I put that that list I started? Hello, peachy me. Hello, hello. Hello, lady. Um, hello, everybody in the Lurker Lounge. I know there ain't 26 people in here. I think I said hello to everyone. I think we did. Joan, hello. Is there two Jones in here? I think there's two Jones in here. Two Jones? Hi, oh, Elizabeth. No, okay, no, maybe it is one Joan. Elizabeth's here, too. Elizabeth. Hello, mm -hmm. Elizabeth. Hello, hello. No, I think we got it. I think we're good. Do we have pollen in Texas? Yeah, we have pollen. Oh, man, do we have pollen. That's how our cars get completely yellow and green. I don't know if I have it on my trees here. Don't it don't I matter if you do or not. It'll come from next door. Yeah, yeah. It, I've seen cars where they're covered, but mine gets it but not covered yes it was a chilly day i didn't want to get out of bed this morning <laughs> but she had to because tammy said she had to be here <laughs> yeah and i ha i have to stay up long enough to to get up early enough to not have cpap marks on my face sometimes <laughs> i go live and i still got cpap marks on my face i look like i've been gotten one of those what is it a a Oh, something it's a city in 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 ireland something smile 
where they've been cut like this. It's named after one of those cities. A, Gla a Glasgow, a Glasgow smile. That's it. Glasgow smile. That's what it's called. I was thinking of the Joker or something. There's an actor. He's an Irish actor. He used to play in Sons of Anarchy, and he's in uh, the new movie with Russell Crowe. He's got one. He was attacked when he was a oh. young boy, and they mm -hmm. gave him a Glasgow smile, which means they take a knife and they cut you on both sides back mm -hmm. like this. Oh. And it leaves a scar and makes you look like the Joker. I wish that is one place I wish I could go live where I can open the windows and the doors like that during this certain time of year. I wish I would be able to do that. And at night, I love that. I love the fresh air coming through the house. And like it I said, if we have a small window, we can yeah. do it here. Me too, Tammy. I don't know exactly what town that is, though. <laughs> Where can we go? <laughs> well, I Where it lasts know. a little bit longer. They have their windows open in Ireland. Let's go there. <laughs> Never gets too cold or too hot. It's green all year long. Flowers bloom all year long. <laughs> I meant to do a thing on Instagram saying that we're going to be going live soon. And I totally mm -hmm. forgot to do that. Oh, so. there was something I wanted to share with you guys. Let me see if I can find it. A lot of you probably already know it. Since we have Easter coming up, if you don't mind, Tammy, I'd like to share sure. the legend of the dogwood. Okay. Was that okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There is a legend that at the time of the crucifixion, the dogwood had been the size of the oak and other forest trees. So firm and strong was the tree that it was chosen as the timber for the cross. To be used for such a cruel purpose greatly distressed the tree, and our Lord nailed upon it since this, and in his gentle pity for all sorrow and suffering said to it, because of your regret and pity for my suffering, Never again shall the dogwood tree grow large enough to be used as a cross. Henceforth, it shall be slender and bent and twisted, and its blossoms shall be in the form of a cross, two long and two short petals. And in the center of the outer edge of each petal, there will be nail prints, brown with rust and stained with red. And in the center of the flower will be a crown of thorns, and all who see it will remember. This is a dogwood? Mm-hmm. I mean, I knew that when I was a little girl, my, my mother told me, you know, the dogwood was, she didn't tell me why, but she said, if you look, the, the flower on a dogwood is a cross, and it's got the nail holes and the crown of thorns. I knew well, that. I don't look this but up. I don't recall I that. didn't know that that was what the cross was made of. So me neither. I wanted, I wanted to share that with you guys since Easter was upon us. And I didn't know that. So Cat Law says she knew it, the legend of the dogwood tree. Yeah, first time to hear that. Let's see. I want to see this. It's the white flower? Uh-huh. I think there are some cross, some cross, some uh, dogwoods that may actually be a slight pink color. But I'm not sure. Are you looking for the flower? Is that yep. the dogwood? Yeah, and that one right there. there. And you can see the little holes on each petal. Hmm. Over where, Karen? Uh, and Joan says, yes, there are some pink ones too. If you mean over here in Texas, yes. We have dogwood trees. I did not know that. And yeah, they stay little, little, little branches and everything. Mm -hmm. Like a, like a little cherry tree kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now I'm going to forever know this is a dogwood tree, you know, cause I'm very bad about uh, <laughs> knowing my flowers and all that stuff. But when you put something mm -hmm. like that to it, a, a, you know, a symbol or the, or give me a picture of something to rem to remember the story. Yeah. 
now I'm going to remember that because I'm, I'm very visual. All right. Yay. I've done my duty for the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's have a sale, Tam. Okay. Oh, in Jerusalem. Well, apparently they did, Karen, or do. Because that'd be a long way to send out for a cross. Okay. It's my week to go first. Your week. I'm glad you remember that. You, you told me what we have. week. <laughs> Oh wait, where is it? Where are? Where is this little thingy thing right there? Yeah, there. that's the thingy thing. Mata, I've got, Mata. I have a a pair of the there the Bearwick is their actual name. I know some call them Boopy, some call them Bubble. They are the four inch um, juice glass, sherry glass, um, aperitif, a liqueur a shot whatever you want to do here in texas this is a shot we like to sip it especially if it's whiskey so if i, I like shot you shoot it oh no i i sip i sip a shot you i sip like a shot i would ship a shot too. I sip my rum i have a pair of the the clear bear wick and if you need them, I have the ruby red Berwick in the um, dessert as well. I have three of those. But today we've got two of these. They're $6 for the pair, and they're going to be letter B. B as in Berwick. Four inches, B as in Berwick. Don't call me, I'll call you. You leaving? Yep. Bye, Dave. Bye, all. He's going to umpire. Okay. What I have up is this little Japan water decanter that I guess you would put at the side of your bed. It's only um, five and a half inches tall. It has a cork around the side, which some of it is uh, falling off, but it still seals really well. And it has this cute little design only five and a half inches tall I don't know what else could we use for this other than a water good canter it is it does say Japan on the bottom have some craze in as you can see there too <laughs> you can get that um, cork stuff on a roll and, uh -huh. and read some new and then you could you know like Put it in the bathroom keep your mouthwash in it or... yeah there you go mouthwash yeah and a pretty little design canter Little the flowers are a little bit raised slightly raised you can feel the little beads on here so it's kind of a 3d texture you feel the texture you can keep you... a little alcohol in it for a little nighty night yeah. tipple your uh what is it called uh when you have that code cough um your NyQuil? No, yeah, hot toddy. Keep your hot, hot toddy. toddy in here. There we go. I'm like, you know, from the olden days, because, you know, grandma drinks a hot toddy, and I was like, what? You drink whiskey? Because <laughs> uh, my my cousin, uh, one of her nieces, gave her a liquor bottle with a recipe on it, and I'm like, grandma, what are you doing with this whiskey? Well, I need it for my hot toddies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So this is going to be five dollars, five dollars, number one for the little Japan uh, hot toddy bedside decanter. <laughs> hello, Karen K. Thank you for dropping in. Well, hello, Karen K. Well, now, Tammy, for all we know, having a hot toddy is what makes you live to be 104. Yeah, I like to know because they have longevity in that family. What those ladies were doing. They were doing well. <laughs> okay. I have a pair of Hunko wall hangings from 1977. They are seven inches in length. And they are the yellow roses. Come here, you. Let me get the other one. Oh, I remember those. Yeah. They Did also you know make them in gold and white. I think these would be lovely in your bathroom or your boudoir. 
or put up with some wall sconces with some candles in it. Be very pretty. We are in wonderful condition. No chips, no cracks. They have their hangers and they are branded with the the home co, the year, the model number, and the made in the USA. I see so, you, Doris. Thank you, ma'am. This pair of seven inch home co wall hangings will be $16 and it's letter F as in fun. $16 letter F as in fun. Yeah, yes, plastic. Yes. They are the hard plastic. She's doing flat prices. So we'll be given, and George wants those. Thank you, George. Yeah, so I, I, I have a couple of starts, and I will let you know definitely that they are a start. Thank Hello, you, Carol. I appreciate it. George just beat you out on that one. Well, hello, Carol. And Patricia and just hello. joined us. Hello, you guys. And hi, Patricia. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, oh, there you go. Um, here I have this little wall hanging. It is the wire flower around it is six and a half inches across, but the little plate itself is only like four inches. It's this darling little, I like this little gold flower wire around it or metal because it's stronger than a wire. And it even has a little kickstand where you can display it. And it has this real pretty little scene of the fall colors, a green and a yellow on the trees, and a little pond in the front. And it, you can display it sitting on a table, or you can hang it because there's a little hook here. There is a, a tag here. Relco? Relco, yes. Relco, Japan. So... I thought it was cute, little cute little piece. I like it like that. I like it sitting as a flower. So this is going to be $7, $7 number two, if you're interested in the little plate. The plate's only four inches, but the from here to here it is six and a half inches. My background is so busy, you can't see anything. So $7 number two. Okay, this is a start, and it's starting at $24. It is a flint wood 1950s console bowl or fruit bowl. It is mustard yellow. It measures about 18 inches in length you can see it's a bright mustard yellow when you look closely it does have a slightly speckled texture and there is its name it does have a little tape residue left on the back that i did not get completely off now, let me tell you about Flintwood. If you don't know, Flintwood was a company that was owned by three partners. One of them was Reniger, Rene, yeah, Reniger, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Reniger, who we all know for mid century modern designs. And this particular piece was only manufactured, for, manufactured from 1953 to 1960. And they came up with a new processing. They took wood pulp and flour and mixed it together. So 80% of this product is that wood pulp flour material, like a hard plastic. And then the other 20% is a resin binding agent. So all of these that I have been able to find all come in the, the standard 1950s colors. This mustard yellow, there is a um, like a, a melon, orangey melon color, 
And I think there's a blue, but I'm not sure. I don't know why. I just love those long trays like that. Oh, it's just fabulous. I love it too. I've had it for several years now and have just now finally decided to sell it. So, okay. So I don't see anybody interested in the Flintwood today. Oh, okay. So we will end that and we will pass on for now. Who's leaving? Oh, bye, Kay. Yeah, have a good day. Go back to work. She yeah, was she was just on break. Yeah. <laughs> Sonia part already left too because she had to go to work today. Okay, Mother's Day coming up. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Bye, dear. Um, we have this is one of those little hard plastic little uh, figurines, and it says "World's Best Mother." Cute little figurine. This this is made in seventy one. Seventy one berries. I think that the name of the company berries, I think that says, uh, made in Hong Kong. Just really, <laughs> just a cute little uh, little figurine, plastic fur figurine. Y'all remember when y'all had those those little white statues? They were all the same color, and they say, um, "I love you this much," and um, get wells and favorite daughter or i don't know just said all kinds of, those are cute Wasn't little that a berry too are, are they, they i don't berry? know are they, those were berry too oh okay based on the cartoonist well, they designs they just started putting these in color then <laughs> or those came before one or the other yeah yeah that i'm not even sure but cute little figurine little um best mother's day world's best mother it says and this would be six dollars and it's number three six dollars number three She's just a little cutie piece. And to you. Thank you. Thank you. Okie dokie. I have a pair of Princess House lead crystal highlights three-way candle holders. That's a mouthful. Aren't those pretty? Pretty. They a little dome light. Oh, good. Yep, they, they are domed because they go with a taper candle on this side. And then you can turn them over and they can hold a pillar candle mm. or a tea light candle within them. They have a very, and this line has a lot of um, pieces that match with it. I actually somewhere have the cigarette, the big glass cigarette lighter and a uh, cigarette holder. Oh. That I bought from Prince's House back in the 70s. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. And they measure about four and a half inches wide and they're about two inches tall. So you're going to get the pair for $12. Uh oh, that doesn't have a letter. Hold on. Let me find out what my last letter was. Okay. Clear the banner. Oh. <laughs> so, um, $12 for the pair letter S as in super. S for the Princess House lead crystal candle holders. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Doris Thank will you, take Doris. it. Over. Thank you very much, my dear. Oh, it's oh, is it Doris? Can't be six. It's your uh, turn, honey. Okay. Oh, I have here. It's almost almost. Just a quarter inch shy of being five inches tall is this. This is a plastic. It has a felt bottom. It's a little candle holder with this decorative candle piece in here that's carved out and designed. Or that's maybe so it's 
pressed in design. Never been burned. I think this is a, a 70s type style candle, right? I think this would be from the 70s. Oh, yeah. I, I bet that came from Wicks and Sticks. Wicks and Sticks? Hmm. Wicks and Sticks. They sold candles and, um, in all different shapes, scented candles, unscented candles. And they sold, um, y'all help me. I lost it. The smelly sticks. Oh, the incense. Incense. Thank you. They sold incense and candles. This smells like it would have been vanilla. It's very, very faint. I mean, there was a Wicks and Sticks in the San Jacinto Mall. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. So, just, it came together. So, and this is like a plastic. But I just love this style, the, the style of this. But uh, this will be, oh, this is going to be $8, number four. $8, number four for this little setup. Oh, that's a good deal for the candle and the holder. Mm -hmm. Karen says the candle is shaped like an EAPG glass. <laughs> oh, the candle. Yeah. The cuts in it. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Your turn. All righty. So I have a vintage ladies wallet. It is a teal blue with some other little darker browns and stuff in it. It is embossed. It is a raised pattern. I see you, George. Thank you, sir. It is a full bill size wallet, as I believe. It's seven and a quarter inches long. That's a cute wallet. Is it that vinyl like? Yes, it's the vinyl embossed with the raised pattern. That's cute. So it opens up for one section, then it's got a coin purse here coin section and the snap works and get my finger in there and then comes out big i love the sound of that plastic it's still got the original pen pencil thing stuck mm -hmm. down in it from where you used to have a checkbook right here. what what is that <laughs> what <is a> checkbook <laughs> so if you still use a checkbook it's got the slit right here that you can slide um, a check in if you use the long checks, or you can slide it in here if you use the short checks like that. It's got a pocket up here as well. The only issue with this billfold is the, the picture inserts have gone bad. So if you wanna carry pictures in it, you need to get you a new little insert of vinyl to put your pictures in. <laughs> Karen still uses a checkbook. I, oh, I do too. I have um, two or three bills that I pay just with checkbook. And then sometimes I buy things from people online and they want me to send them a check. So well, I do. Still have I do checks. still accept a check for my for doing hair from one customer. She still pays me by check. <laughs> So this pretty blue vinyl vintage wallet, I'd say from the late 60s, mid 70s, something like that, judging by the, the feeling of it. Mm -hmm. it's, gonna just be, it's $7. $7 letter H is in happy. This little billfold will make you happy. Yeah, happy. Happy. I love it. It, look, it, looks, it looks like tapestry. Yeah, yeah. Seven dollars, letter H. Oh, I'm too busy watching this. I'm not even. Writing. I know I do that too. So we we'll like that, and we will. I'm like intrigued it. by the wallet. <laughs> okay, I have up. These are five and a half inches across, and they're like oh, a quarter wide. I'm putting in my two cents here now, y'all. <laughs> Two cents. This is a penny from 1909. One cent coaster. There's a pair. And see how wide they are. So cool. So fun. 
I do have a set of these myself. I had gotten several of them. So I kept this set and here's a set that I'm going to be selling. So they're in good shape, pretty thick and durable. Clap, clap with them. What is this one? Yeah, they all say the same thing. They say the same thing. Liberty 1909 and a S and an S underneath the penny. So same thing on both sides. Just fun little coasters. You can always hand somebody a coaster. Here's your here's your uh, one cent that I'm putting in and um, put your cup on the coaster, people. You know, <laughs> don't put it on my mid-century coffee table. This is you're going to be seven dollars for the pair. Seven dollars. Number five for the penny coasters. What five inches? Yeah, five inches across. So just a little fun, little fun thing. Coaster world. You're two cents, people. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my turn. Sorry. I have a choice here. And you'll have to forgive me. I don't have the exact right dish to go in it to demonstrate it. But you can use your imagination. <laughs> so I have a Corningware trivet this trivet has is got bakelite handles and feet and it has the warmer to put a tea light in or the little tiny cans of sterno is what you used to could get to keep your stuff warm this is will keep you from burning your hands if you've got something that's been baking in the oven in your corningware or even cooking on the cooktop you can take this and set it on your buffet your table your bar whatever to Put your corningware on now it holds about a, the six inch size and my corningware is this four and a quarter and then it goes up to the like the eight and so i don't have the exact size but this is the kind of thing that it does hmm. and that way you know you don't have to use the the flat trivets or the hot pads or whatever and you can move it around and keep it warm and serve it. so We've got this one. This is the warmer. And it's in really, really good shape. And then we have just the trivet like this, the Corning wire trivet. Now it will fit the the about a six inch square. And it will also fit the casserole dish. So you'd take it out and you'd set it in this and you'd be able to move it and set it on your table or wherever without worrying about the heat. And it raises the the level of your serving. Yeah, it so does. They're going to be $8. $8 a letter D as in decisions, decisions. <laughs> and if you want one of the the corning war servers just let me know put in d and then we can figure out which one you want if you want one and that's me and okay here i have next is a carnival prize is seven inches tall now <laughs> it's a kitty cat carnival prize that little chalkware um figurine he's he's got a little you no, know he's a scary cat <laughs> yes <laughs> very scary cat He's got a little, you know, loss of paint, you know, throughout. But these are these are early on pieces, right? Um, I used to know the years for these. I don't remember anymore. But when the, if you find I, out again, write it on your tag, man. I know. And I was just thinking that, too. I need to write some stuff on each of these items. So 
I can, you know, because I look them up once before and then I forget. But they do have, you know, just a little bit of uh, paint loss, you know, which you're going to find with any of these. But mm -hmm. being that it's chalk, I'm surprised it's not got a chip off his uh, foot or his ear even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ears are there. And those make an excellent collection because you can get all kinds of the chalkware carnival prizes. And they are pricey. They mm -hmm. can be pricey. I've always looked at the um, Snow White one. I always see that one a lot. And that one's always around 100 bucks. But well, imagine uh, the kids who, who must have loved that kitty cat. Yeah. So they're fun. They don't get, you know, we don't get these kind of things anymore. Hello, mm -hmm. Harry. Hi, Hello, Harry. Hello. So the little kitty cat chalkware, it is $10, number six. $10, number six. I mean, you have him sitting on the shelf. You can see him staring at you. Well, mm -hmm. even if you put him up until Halloween and used him as a Halloween decoration. Oh, yeah. There you go. He would, he would go well. He would, yeah. That's true. That's a that's a good uh, selling point. Use him as a Halloween decor. Harry is driving and listening because he likes to hear our accents. <laughs> Harry, we don't have an accent. but yeah, what accent? What are you talking about? <laughs> But we, I, I, I watch you, Harry, and I'm, I hate to tell you this, but you have an accent, sir. <laughs> Us down here, you have an accent. <laughs> so this item is going to start at eighteen dollars, and it comes in this beautiful box. Mm. This original box. Now it says Servac insulated mugs right there on the box. Hmm. And it's look at that. It's got an original sticker there. And it's <laughs> the original sticker. Come on, come on, come on there it came from a i think it says higgins let me see no sanger harris so let's see i don't want to take it out the wrong way yet this way i got the lid on wrong all right are you ready oh isn't that fabulous look at those colors oh my gosh so in their original box a set of six they measure about four and a half inches Oh, no. One of them has an issue that I didn't even know because it was sitting down in here. Let's see. Okay. I'll show you the, this. It's a funny issue. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> funny issue. <laughs> yeah, it has an issue. I already like the colors. Isn't that pretty? This burnt orange. There's your interior and the bottom. So there, there's two of the burnt orange. This one has some crazing on the inside, on the plastic at the very bottom, like stress. And then there's two golds, harvest golds. Oh. And there's two of the the dark green. They're not quite an avocado. They're more of a dark forest green. Now, I here's the issue with this one. This is weird. Can you see this this bubble? Oh yeah, I see. So it makes the makes like a little. Like a drinking lip. You could drink out of that. 
The other ones don't have that? No, I thought it, when I pulled it out, I was like, dang, I didn't know these had a drinking lip. It's not cracked or anything. It's just, it's just got a bubble. So, set of six and these three beautiful colors. These would look pretty out on your shelf. Mm-hmm, I love those colors. Let's see, do they... A stack, a stack, and come with their box. The set of six. But if nobody's interested in these, that's not a problem. We will, we will end this and we will move on. And we'll get rid of that if I can catch it. There we go. Someone tried it in the microwave, you think? <laughs> and then they put it back in a box. Hey, I'm just glad they kept the box. Yeah, I would think they never used them because they were in a box. Patricia had a monkey chalkware. And she had it for a long time, 20 years, before the oh. movers weren't careful and they smashed it. Oh, no. That's awful. Mm -hmm. See, that's how I got started on collecting um, stuff from my childhood, remembering stuff like that and going and hunting for it. And that's how I ended up with the toy room, a toy room full of not my toys. But that's I've, once I got on the vibe of hunting for my own toys, I was like, oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I remember my friend had this. I'm going to get this, too, for my grandkids. Okay. Yeah, I always wanted this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, I have this little trinket dish, real pretty little trinket dish. Take, George, you want, take them. Hold on, Tammy, just a second. I'm sorry. George, George you those. want to take them for 18. No problem. Thank you very much. George likes the same things we like. He likes those colors. George is our people, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have this little trinket dish. You can feel the rays on here. Um, what is it called when you feel it? I think there's a name for that. Why do you want to focus? When they're there? raised, like the Moriagi? Yeah, like is, but is it called Moriagi or is it just like the Moriagi? I don't know if Mor Moriagi is just dots or if it's the lines too. I thought it was lines too, lines and edging, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah you can feel the gold, the gold part of it. So it's hand painted around the edges. Very pretty. Just a little trinket dish. It's five inches across, you know, five inches both ways. And it's about a quarter inch. No, maybe it, maybe about an inch. Almost an inch deep. Just a little trinket dish. And I cannot even begin to see that. Let's see if I have this upside down or not. It is. Nippon. It's hand painted Nippon. It's, um, Mori Mura, Mori Mura, because it's got the M in it. So just a cute little dish, you know. You can put a candle, a pillar candle in here even, if you didn't use it for. Um, you can put little candies in here. I mean, this is definitely lots of things we can do with this. Drop our jewelry in it next to the sink uh, or put some You're soap in soap. it. Yeah. Pretty little soaps. Um, lots of fun things we could do with this. So this is $7 and it's, oh, number seven, $7, number seven. Oh, Tammy, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you my David today? <laughs> it just fell that way. I never plan anything. I'm not a planner. <laughs> Mine does that too sometimes though. Okay. Since Tammy has a trinket, dish i shall do a trinket dish i shall i shall i shall gary and i found this when we were i can't i think in oklahoma it's a it's a little miniature wedding basket it's glass it's a it's like coke bottle green is what the color is it has I see you, doris thank you ma'am 
beautiful pattern on the bottom. Very intricate. With a ruffled edge and a twisted style glass handle that has been applied. There we go. You can see the ruffle along the edge. Stands about four inches tall. Just perfect for your rings and your earrings. If you want to be fancy, you can put your little paper clips in it, your little push pins. <laughs> if you want to be really fancy, put your little after dinner mints on it. And then you can pass them around after dinner. Is that a green or a blue? It's it's kind of green, like it's like a Coke bottle. Oh, okay, okay. And I'm sitting here looking at it. It's it's kind of Coke bottle green. Just a little nugget, got a little bitty foot on the bottom, right here. But yeah, I just I am intrigued by this the beautiful designs in the glass. Reminds me of the sunburst pattern. So this little guy is going to be $9 and it's letter L. L as in I love it. $9 for the glass trinket dish. The miniature wedding basket. Letter L, $9. And it's back to you, Tam Cam. If I can slide you over there. There we go. Okay. You might have seen these before. I've had these a little while. But I have these. Um, Otagari. 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 Um, boy and girl. Little tea light holders. They're nine and a half inches tall. They're stoneware. You know, they They're, look like Mexican pottery. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. They would fit in with your Mexican pottery for sure. There's there's no marking on them. I think I think in my search because I do have the sticker still with it. Um, they were someone did have a sticker on it. I love it when I can find an item that had their original stickers. But uh, well, I believe it because I had some salt and pepper shakers that had that same texture printed pattern on them, and they were marked Japan. So uh huh. So they're they're a brown with black speckled and they're little tea lights. They hold the little tea light. And here's a little tea light that goes right in there, or probably even a votive, a little votive candle. Um, yeah, Karen says they'd look good with brass. With brass? With brass. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Decorative yeah, yeah. with brass, yeah, and the decor. So the light would glow through her eyes and mouth as well. So very cute little man and woman, mom and pop, boy and girl. I don't know how young they are. I like his little bow tie. Nine and a half inches tall. So they're pretty tall. I thought these were very different, very unique. You know, first time I ever seen them when I picked them up. And now I've learned to see some more online. And there's different styles even online. There's even a shorter little shorter set you know of a little girl that i've seen and the mom and um boy and girl they make them look a little bit different as well she's got a little bonnet on her head so these for the set is going to be what are these they're twenty dollars twenty dollars number eight twenty dollars number eight for this set a tea light stoneware Fairy lamps, like fairy boy and girl. <laughs> like a fairy lamp. And that is mine. What did, what did you miss, Peachy? Oh, number eight? No. Oh, $20 number eight. There you go, Peachy. They're yours. Thank you, ma'am. And then to you, Miss Martha. Thank you, Peachy. Okay. I have a little swung base here that is just shy of 10 inches and it is a twisted 
green glass, green and clear, if you look. It is green and clear. It's got a little base. It is unmarked. And then it twists into this end. These fingers, eh, three fat fingers. Like I said, it is just shy of 10 inches. So the green's inside the clear, it looks like. Uh-huh. It's, it's, it's almost like it's cased, but I can feel in here that it's, I mean, I can't say it's not. I don't know. But yeah, it, it's because it's got these, these are clear. When I turn them sideways and look at them, I can see that they're clear. Yeah, they're clear. That's yeah. right. And then the green is on the inside and it twists all the way around. So it gives you this twisting, turning effect up to the fingers. So just under 10 inches. And it is going to be $18. $18. It's even got a slight bend to it. Look at that. They swung it a little too hard. Bends a little to the right. Must have been a right-handed glass blower. $18 letter P. P is in Paul. Letter P. Or the 10 inch swung base. Green and clear twisted. Letter P. Hasn't come through yet, Peachy. Thank you, Peachy. She's doing more crafts. She's way ahead of us, Martha. <laughs> I know. Okay, I have this cute, cute little oval base that is about six inches wide and two and a half inches or three inches long and wide is oh yeah let me let me scoot you over is this um pretty little oval base with the i guess that, that might be navy i don't know if that's black or navy at the top kp you are not forgiven you are fired <laughs> You're fired. But it has this very pretty design, hand painted. Oh, how tall is this? It's three inches tall. Um, about three and a half inches wide and about six inches long. So just a cute little planter, I guess. But it's wide enough to hold uh, cards or envelopes, you know the opening and there is a marking on the bottom you could grow you some 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 kitchen herbs in your kitchen window with that oh yeah yeah Ooh, Czechoslovakia can you read that I can't read that yeah, I'm trying to see where it starts and begins registered made in Czechoslovakia and it's the uh, celebrate pattern oh wow I'm still looking around the circle to see where it starts <laughs> <laughs> so Czechoslovakia. I knew there was something about this base. They say, oh, there is like maybe a neck right there in the base there. Come on, focus. Right there. Barely a little something, something right there. So cute little base little planter base you know whatever you want to use it for little holder it is going to be eight dollars and it's number nine eight dollars number nine super cute though i don't know if that's black or dark blue or navy color i feel like it might be a dark blue because of all the other blue in it but yeah i can see blue coming through it so maybe yeah. so so maybe just a dark dark blue hello helen hello peewee hello Hi, hello peewee. And that's mine. Maybe if it were from China. 
Okay, I have a choice. The first item on the choice is this little miniature teacup. So cute. Roses on it. Let's see. There you go. It's a, um, you know, cottage core grandma chic. It does not want to. There we go. Little pink roses. They're also on the, the saucer. It has gold trim on the saucer and on the little teacup. It measures two and a half inches. It is not fancy. Here you go. It may be worth hundreds of dollars, Pee Wee, because it was made in China. <laughs> <Made> in China. <laughs> Called a foot bath. Yeah. So a little miniature rose teacup or the little... Let's see, what does he say? No, he just <laughs> oh here we go. This little dude's made in Japan. The little Siamese oh, cat. Cute. He's a little blurry. He's had too much to drink. <laughs> he's had a he's had too much to drink, so he's a little blurry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there he is. He's looking to see what's happening. He has, he is numbered and he has a foil sticker that says made in Japan. He's in good shape. It's just a little nugget. It's really pretty. If you like Siamese cats or cats in general, he does have a little bit of blue eye going on there. So, if you look at him close, I think he had, I think he may have had whiskers. So, you know, just cut your little piece off the broom, stick it in there, <laughs> make some whiskers. So your choice, $5 letter J, $5 letter J. J is in just because. KB? Which one do you want? I know which one she's going to say. <laughs> the kitty cat. I knew it. <laughs> Thank you, KB. Anybody wants a little teacup, just let me know. Okay. For the collection. For the collection. Well, let me show y'all what Miss uh, Peachy Me is working on now for Easter. She is now making, she is the queen of pipe cleaners. And she doesn't even have a pot. Yeah. <laughs> She's making flowers. Oh, look, those are like the ones that my daughter-in-law made me last year I for Mother's Day. Good. And the little twisties in the back. I like oh, those. Those are so pretty. So fun. Did they make your hands hurt, Peachy? Because my daughter in love complained about her hands being so sore because she made a set for me, a set for her mom, and a set for her grandmother. And she said her hands were so tired of doing the pliers and cutting. The oh. <laughs> she didn't work those hands out more. Squeeze that ball. Squeeze that I, ball. I guess. <laughs> Okay, I have this, um, what is this called, a crane or a heron, crane, heron. It is a aqua, aqua color, four by four, or is it a five by five? Four by four, four by four in size, um, paperweight, and about two inches wide, inch and a half wide, about an inch and a half wide. It's really thick, little block of glass paperweight so you guys see the heron i guess it's a heron or whatever you call this bird it's a shore bird yeah <laughs> and there's there are some bubbles in it this isn't cracked this is the way it's made i love those paperweights like that i don't know if it 
if this is a hand blown or do they press these in because it's just got little I divots. think they're molded. Because it's got little divots everywhere. Little nice heavy paperweight. It probably hold up some books too. You know, setting aside it. But a, like an aqua, aqua green, aqua more in the teal green colors than blue. Yeah, because it, it's kind of washing out on the camera from my end, so it's good to know what the colors are. Yeah. Um, where'd my board go? Board, where are you? Well, board? like if you're going to use a fan in your house or in your office, you know, this is a, a good thing to have. Oh, that does give it a little more color. So that's thick. And it's. It is kind of heavy. I'm like, Bleh. so this <laughs> paperweight is where to go. Twenty dollars, number sixteen. Twenty dollars, number sixteen, with a heron paperweight. Like I said, it'd be a good shelf sitter to hold up some books as well because it's got some weight to it. So twenty dollars, whatever number I give you. 16, number 16. <laughs> Whatever number that was. <laughs> I done forgot. <laughs> I said it and it's gone. All right. Do any of you guys, have y'all collected the Bluebirds of Happiness? And did you realize that they come in different colors and they have different names? Like we've been to Round Top and there's a man who has all the colors. Right, the bluebirds, you know, the, oh, the yes. blue and the red and the green and the purple, and, and they the each have a different name. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the name of this one is, but I have named it, and y'all can tell me if you agree or disagree with the name I have given it. She has named it, <laughs> I have named it. I dub the, the bird of honesty. It is the bird of honesty. This is a Ron Ray 1994 signed. And he is clear. Shaped just like all the bluebirds of happiness that you see. But he's clear. I call him the bird of honesty. Mm -hmm. Because he can't hide anything. He's clear. You can see right through him. That makes sense. He, he cannot lie. So, hence, the bird of honesty. And he is signed on the bottom. Let me move this little poiple sticker out of the way. Let's see. Come on, camera. Right there. There's this Ron Way, 1994. You see, he has no secrets. He is the clear bird of honesty. And he's the same size as the uh, regular bluebirds. About three inches tall and three and a quarter inches wide. So the clear bird of honesty, which this is actually ex except for the guy at round top this is the first one i've ever come across and he is going to be nine dollars letter e nine dollars letter e so if you collect the birds he is part of the official collection from the ron ray and the leo wards mm -hmm. nine dollars letter e Put him in the window and he'll shine through. Doris wants that one. Ah, oh, thank you, Doris. And thank you, KB. I see you were trying for him too, and I appreciate it. All right. It's time to get our drink on, y'all. What does the RX mean? I know it has to do with pharmacy wise. Oh, it's a for, it's prescription, but it's something Latin, and I don't know. Okay. It means prescription. The what does the rx means prescription. prescription okay so these these are like the pharmacy theme uh rock glasses i have a pair here of these mid-century uh barware glasses 
they're in great shape the the print is all on there they have not made it through the dishwasher and i probably should have a piece of paper in here so we can see this well because they there's the rx they always have a different design here and then they have all these whatever all this mumble jumbo on the back the the chemistry of different things you know <laughs> and this is a purple color so we have this rock glass they stand four inches tall and the opening is about three and a half inches nice size rock glass and then i have this one i hit my mouse and made something come up and this one's of a teal teal color with flower and leaves and then the same mumbo jumbo written on the back so these probably these are apparently a set of different designs like this that they do come but these are the only two i had i didn't know they were uh these aren't signed either i don't believe they're libby but they're libby are they signed there is a marking on the bottom but they're libby well it, it'll be an l if it's a libby well i can't read it, it. Just wants to, yeah oh, here we go yeah see the l fancy script ale yeah to match the fancy scripts on the back so for the two pair i'm going to do for 12 dollars number 10. 12 dollars number 10. they're pretty so hey you can always give a, a gift to your doctor or to your pharmacy and i see julie for those well, thank you ma'am those <laughs> Thank you, thank you, and then we're back to you. I have a single little plate. Hi, Deb. Oh, hi, Debs. I have a single little plate that you can use for your trinkets, your keys, um, cookies, what have you. You can place a candle, pillar candle on wow. it. It's a little over seven inches, but it is a depression dish, like a dessert dish or um little salad plate um it looks clear on the screen there but it is the pale yellow you can barely see it a pale yellow. yellow and it's got it's got an etched flower probably a wheel etching with the leaves going all the way around it and as you can see it's not you know a standard shape from what i was looking at it looked like it was possibly um a lancaster jubilee pattern but i'm not 100 percent sure so if you need something i mean it's got the, you know what it's got this is probably a coffee cup. Now that I think about it, it's probably a saucer since it's got this nice, but I don't know. It doesn't no, it's not on this side. It's only on this side. So it's, it's not a saucer. It's a salad or dessert plate, but I've had it for 30 years. It was in one of my boxes of my stuff. So it's going to be four dollars letter m for martha because it belonged to martha you can put your little soaps on it or whatever your little decorative soaps yes yes looks like lancaster jubilee we had to count the petals we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven petals. Does it glow? It does not glow. It does not glow. 
it's just a, a pale yellow when you when you look at it I'll tell you what color it is it's when you look right here oh look you can see it look now you can see it you see the color when I hold it like this does it look yellow to you now Tammy yeah yeah I see the yellow yeah that's that's the color it is it's the depression glass yellow so four dollars letter M if anyone is interested they're they're teaching me what the RX stands for because I used to think I knew it was prescription I knew it had to do with that but I was wondering what is the R and the X stand for oh it's 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 from the Latin word for recipe yeah recipe I knew it was from a Latin word but I didn't I didn't know what it was thanks cat which means take hmm some call it topaz huh okay the yellow they call topaz the yellow, oh yeah I'm I'm it topaz. Okay. I can see I, that. We, we were just very basic there was pink there was green there was yellow <laughs> <laughs> okay I have a now is a little oh yeah let's change that over is a little uh rose tree a silver plated rose tree because there's roses on it and it has the little um frames this is a plastic on the inside of this frame not glass so this one is missing its a uh, plastic piece and background which is an easy fix i had thought about spray painting this all black for Halloween or something so somebody better take it or I'm gonna spray paint it Ooh, that would look cool and then you could put pictures of ghouls and witches yeah exactly maybe make the roses or, you know top them off with a little edging of red I was gonna do a craft on it but I, I'm gonna bring it one more time next time you see it it's gonna be a craft so it is, it's just over 10 inches tall but it's a pretty piece. I guess this could be shined up. See, the bottom is, you know, shiny. You hear it jingling? I'm almost hoping nobody buys it because it's going to look great as a Halloween thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm going to spray paint it black and then touch the roses um, like a red. Put, some, you know. put a light dusting of gold around the frames. Oh, yeah. Okay. That sounds good, too. So. Anyways, we got this little, it has what, um, five pictures, five picture frames on it. Again, it's just missing its plastic. You could cut a little plastic scrapbook piece or from an old album and slide in there if you want the plastic still covering. It's going to be $12, number 11. $12, number 11. Joan yeah. says it really would be great for Halloween. Well, that's yeah. what it's going to be next. You You're going to put all kinds of little tools. There can be a owl pictures. That would be cute. Yeah. <laughs> or gruelly. My gruelly cousins. Oh, I can make my cousins look, look gruelly. Hang, good hanging in it. But I don't know. I'd be partial to a, a vampire and a Frankenstein yeah. and a werewolf <laughs> and a mummy and, you know, for your family. Or you, you could get pictures of the people from the Adams family. Oh, there you go. Yep, that, that's it. That, I mean, that's <laughs> uh, Tammy says that she has sent you her information. Got it. I see it. Thank you. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> we were doing it at the same time. <laughs> I think we did that a while ago, too. Because I was sure I changed you, and then you go, oh, I have to change this. <laughs> all right i have a fenton piece for you guys i have a fenton milk glass but it's an it's a slag an end of day milk glass handkerchief base uh if i could measure from the right end that would be good it's about six inches tall it's the cabbage rose milk glass handkerchief base in this beautiful light blue and white. Mm. Isn't that pretty? 
and there's the cabbage roses right there you turn it all the way so you can make sure you see all the way around it and then it's got the Fenton flower foot oh my finger stuck <laughs> And then there is your handkerchief top. I just love this color blue and this white mixed together. And it's very Eastery colors too. Mm-hmm. Spring and Easter. And you know what? You could use it in the middle of winter too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because it looks like snow and moonlight. Mm -hmm. That's so, a pretty piece. It is pretty. I love it. And and I, I collect, you know, Fenton vases, but I collect the uh, swung vases, not the shorter ones. And I collect milk glass, but I collect milk glass swung vases. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is going to be $18 and it's letter Q. $18 letter Q for quality. This is a quality. Look at that. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah, it makes me think of candy, cotton candy or something. Oh, yeah. Or something. I don't know. Something creamy. Maybe I just want something sweet. I don't know. <laughs> something creamy. What, you ate all your ice cream cake, didn't you, Tan? I uh, No, I didn't finish it yet. <laughs> well, there you go. You've got ice cream cake. So $18 letter Q. I have keto butterscotch pudding. Mmm. Butterscotch and pudding. <laughs> yeah. right the same time man <laughs> okay next i have a little creamer set sugar and creamer i know how much y'all love sugar and creamers y'all just love them <laughs> this one's about four inches tall but but it has mushrooms on it Woo, mushrooms aren't they cute they're cute cute little cute cute little pieces i have a set of mushrooms put up for when i don't have anybody in the house but me and my hubby and i can use cute stuff like that yeah <laughs> your kids are grown what you worried about yeah my kids still act like kids because they live at home <laughs> no so these are probably like those project pieces i would i assume because there's no make or model on them um so these might have been a ceramic uh set piece so it's two mushrooms on one side and a single one on the opposite side but little cute little mushroom set i love them i have a mushroom set already or i'd keep them um of a sugar and creamer and what are these these are going to be $12, number 13, $12, number 13. Yeah. You could fill it with owls. <laughs> what are we talking about? Are we talking about the picture frame or these? Fill this with owls. <laughs> well, they're mushrooms. I guess it could go either way. <laughs> frame or the peachy me for number 13, please. Thank you, peachy me. And it's your turn. And it's my turn. These are a sweet little set. I like these. Anybody decorate with brass? I have a brass piece. I have a brass paperweight uh, made in Taiwan. So vintage, what, 80s, 90s, something like mm -hmm. that. And it's an armadillo. <laughs> Where's Margo? <laughs> I know. An armadillo. Oh, that reminds Margo, me. Margo, Margo, Margo. <laughs> that reminds me. You, this woman always wants me to send her bones. She wants a dead. Bones? She wants armadillo roadkill. You can't touch that. Those things have. Uh, oh, don't touch dead bones like shoot. that. You can't send that to her. Those things have 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 that dog disease that I can't remember the name of. <laughs> And, but she wants, so when we went to Round Top, y'all, there was a dead armadillo. You know, usually you don't go far without seeing a dead armadillo on the side of the road, right? There was an armadillo on the side of the road where we had to walk, you know, because you walk along the path. But y'all, I'll have to show you this when I get big. 
somebody gave the armadillo a beer bottle. A beer bottle. We always give the armadillos. You turn them like that's that, exactly you know, what it looks like. You give a Budweiser <laughs> in it like this. Only in Texas, y'all, do they give a dead armadillo a beer bottle. If them country boys, if they're going down the road and they got a beer bottle in the truck, they're going to stop. They're going to give it to that armadillo. That's right, man. You know, it's, it's like heart. Uh, rest in peace, armadillo. Here's your beer bottle. <laughs> So he measures, let's see, what? about five Mark inches it. by three inches. I'm going to put it in for you. Thank you, darling. Five inches by three inches. He is solid brass. He's very well textured. And let's see, he's got a foil Taiwan sticker there. Sits well. Yeah, nice and level. Good paperweight. Yeah, and they, they do tip cows. Yes, that's that's when you live out in the country and there's no um, bowling alley or skating rink, you go to the pastor and tip cows. I know that's what my sister Still said in Nebraska. She was living in Nebraska and um, for a while, and they that was big up there, tipping cows. <laughs> So the brass armadillo is $22. Thank you, KP. $22. Yes, it is heavy enough to be a doorstop, even though it is smaller. $22, letter C. C is in cow for cow tipping. <laughs> Solid brass armadillo, letter C. I forgot I had this picture because I got to send it to, um, oh, I didn't pull my next item out either. Um, Uh, I was going to send this to Margot. Thank you, KP. This was on the side of the road. <gasps> Sacrilege. That's a Heineken bottle. That's not a German armadillo. <laughs> and look, he's been, he's, look, usually, usually their feet are straight up and it, it holds the, the bottle much better. Yes, I am, Julie. I am in Texas. I am, I am about 10 or 15 minutes away from Tammy. Oh, well. So if uh, Julie, if you're not aware, um, since she is only a few minutes away from me, she we do combine our shipping. So any of y'all that are new today that doesn't know this, Martha and I will combine our shipping to make it um, cheaper for y'all. And I do combine this sale with tomorrow night's sale. So I won't be doing invoices until Thursday, Thursday and Friday, most likely all Thursday. Thank you, so. Doris. I see you for letter C. And the same with me. I'll wait until after Tammy has her Wednesday sale to, to start invoicing. Because that way we know who's going to be doing the shipping. So who needs to charge for the charge for the shipping? Yeah. So if I have more of the items, then I just got get her stuff. But if she has more of the items, or if we're just one and one, and it depends, okay, how many do you have? Well, I have this many. Well, you take this one and you ship it and I'll do these. <laughs> We split the shipping. <laughs> but I found a new tactic that seems to work. I'm just going to come over to your house and ship with you, Tammy. And that way I just sit there and talk to her. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what she did this Thursday. She's just watching me ship. <laughs> okay. More mushrooms, y'all. Julie said she would, she would like a, a blue vase that you had. You talking about me, Julie? Are you talking about this or something did you have a blue vase too tammy no it must be you this is the blue fenton vase it is 18 dollars letter q if that's the one you want put in q okay. so she'll know all right i got you julie thank you very much there you go okay these are about four inches tall they are uh more mushrooms more mushrooms little speckled mushrooms they are mushrooms and they got the little speckled uh orange and blues on them let's see what's on the other side so there's two mushrooms on one side and then three on the other um the stoppers are missing what does this say is this a project piece or these a thing. Let me move my sticker here. 
they are they are missing their stoppers maybe they don't say nothing at all just some squiggly lines maybe I don't know what that is but they do need stoppers but they're cute I like the the you can see the mushrooms are 3d they stand out and they got some weight to them they're kind of heavy they're four inches tall just you don't usually mushrooms. get that pretty blue in with the that confetti I know right usually it's like a green or something yeah I love that I, but I like splatterware so yeah got orange speckles all around it so we have the mushroom salt and pepper shakers these are ten dollars number 15 ten dollars number 15 and they're they're heavier than most uh shakers hmm. okay i got these guys because i liked the color because <laughs> you like the color <laughs> but i don't 100 percent know what they're for so i think they're for candles I think they are candle pedestals. They are clear glass green. Mm -hmm. um, how tall? Almost one and a half inches tall and about four and a quarter inches wide. They're, uh, they're my color green. I love them. I don't have any space for them. I can't keep everything. I try. <laughs> I know. Everybody so knows I try. <laughs> We're bored in ice cream. We eat all we can, sell the rest. <laughs> that should be our that should be our new slogan. You know, all they're right, not, Davis. Okay, they're not exact. I was gonna say they're not exactly Princess Leia buns, but they do kind of look like the bolts for Frankenstein. Down <laughs> they look like Frankenstein. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Frankenstein bolts. <laughs> they like little pot, like lids glass lids oh but yeah <laughs> i think they're they're for tea light so like because the well is not deep enough for a taper but you could put a tea light on that side or one of the small votives or you could put a pedestal candle on this side i should have grabbed one to show you but you have a good imagination y'all know what i'm talking about so i have a pair of these pretty green glass candle pedestals that's what i'm going to call them or you know you can use them to put as risers yes figurine you know to put your yeah, there you go. your birds on or your other figurines whatever you've got that you want to elevate even your fenton vase could sit on it if you wanted it to be a little bit taller so for the pair of them it's going to be eight dollars letter g as in green eight dollars letter g for the glass pedestals we're just going to call them pedestals whatever you want to put on a pedestal and then me and then you <laughs> i did drag it too <laughs> and it looked like you were dragging it i drug okay. i drug <laughs> <laughs> um i have another mushroom another mushroom this is a project piece and I'm slapping my head because there is an inscription on the back from Ronnie or Bonnie Bonnie maybe Bonnie B B L B what's the year in the year two um February 2172 and it's this nice yellow with that speckled orange with these cute little mushrooms inside with the pink and blue now this one does have a chip away from its paint and that's it the only flaw with it has this cute little butterfly in the corner over the top of these mushrooms the dish is seven by seven and it curls up like a bow so little trinket dish is what we're going to call it love french yellow this year that sounds pretty 
especially at this time. <laughs> I'm yelling, don't drop the bass. <laughs> um, but I just, I love the colors in that, that pink and blue. Very, very pretty. So. Okay. Good thing I'm not mean and went, whoops, whoops, whoops. Bang. <laughs> Sturdy little piece, isn't it? <laughs> so the, the corners curve up, so it makes it kind of a bow like for the instead of just a flat plate. That this would is, look good with nuts in it, huh? Oh, that would look good with nuts in it, yeah. I mean, it would go with the woodland theme and it would look good with the color, exactly. Or some Easter eggs. Oh, oh Easter eggs, eggs yeah, in there. <laughs> This is going to be $12 and it's number 14, $12, number 14 for the cute little bow dish. And that's mine. Okay. I have my last start starting at $16. Oh. Start and let me put George, my you want the bow? Thank you, George. Uh, I have what well, I, I believe this is a, what the cubist fairy lamp. It doesn't say home co on the bottom. So I believe it's the cubist fairy lamp in clear and it is full of jewelry. Oh, almost all of it is wearable jewelry. And I'm going to tell you how many pieces of each kind are in here. Oops, falling out. Okay. Oh, no. It's like two and a half pounds between the glass and all the jewelry. Inside of here, there are two three-piece sets that have a necklace, a bracelet, and earrings. There is one rosary. There are four necklaces. There are three pairs of earrings. There is... Oh, I can't read my... She can't read her writing. <laughs> Oh, there's several pieces, several single earrings, and uh, a few craft bibs and bits and bobs in the bottom. So it is basically a jewelry jar, but when you take the jewelry out, you still have a fairy lamp. So it's a yes, she she got him. Thank you, Karen. It is a fairy lamp full of jewelry. Let's see. Oh, and there's the cutest pair of earrings in here. These flower earrings in blue. Oh, blue? those are pretty. And let's see. Here's the rosary. The rosary is in blue as well. And then there's some pearls and some other things. So, but if no one is interested in a jewelry jar, not a problem. That is a different kind of jewelry jar. Well, I didn't invent it. I saw somebody else do it. So Very I'm just cool. talking. I thought so too. So not a problem. I shall put it online. And let me put an end on that. So we know we finished that. And there we go. And we'll get rid of that, please. Got it. There we go. Okay. Next up, I have some decanters. You know, those long. Oh, let me, let me, let me switch me. I'm always looking down, going straight to it. Um, I, you know, those long decanters with the, they're called decanters, right? And poly bases. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, poly, and poly decanters and stuff. Yeah. So here I have a nine and a half inch little empoli decanter base. Not base, but because it has a stopper. This one has a plastic stopper. Look up. Uh, Peachy was interested if maybe. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I was answering her. Thank you. So this has a rubber stopper. 
This is an amber color. It is nine and a half inches tall. Does it have a little handle on it? No, this one don't have a handle. I have a blue one. I'm not sure if it has a handle or not, but I have a blue one identical to that. And it has a handle? I'm not sure. I can't remember. I'm sitting here looking at it on a shelf over here. But I have a bright blue one exactly like that. Oh, and is it this tall? A short one? Yeah. Uh -huh. So this is this one's nine and a half, but I'm gonna throw in this red one too with it. And now that one, that one looks nasty. <laughs> Well, Avon made this nasty one. This one is an Avon one. Um, it looks like the Dream of Genie, you know, where it's fatter at the bottom and skinnier mm -hmm. at the top. So, and this one's six and a half inches tall. Just fun. Um, you need you need a little short ones to go in with your tall ones. Yeah, this looks like it could be an enema thingy here. <laughs> But this is a ruby red and this is a a yellow or amber color. <laughs> yeah, that's a t-shirt. Gutter diving with Martha. Hello, Karen. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Wait, I want to go get mine. I want to show you. I'll be right back. Yeah, get that. I want to see this. She's she's not gonna sell hers though. You know, she collects these too. So for the set of these, this is an Avon one. This one, no maker model on the bottom, but it does have the plastic stopper. So for these two, it's going to be $18, number 16, $18, number 16. If you're interested in the decanters or um, in whatever, in poly decanters, whatever, one of those, whatever you want to call it. Ugh, I'm, back. I'm back. Let's, let's, let's see hers. See? It is. It oh, is. No. Yeah, there's no handle on yours. No, I couldn't remember. <laughs> that is exactly like that. Yeah, cool, cool. Isn't that neat? Okay, let's see. Salt and pepper shakers. We haven't done any of those in a while. These are Japan. These are the most beautiful colors. If nobody wants this, it's not going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> Look at these. They're oh, so nice. slices of watermelon with uh, grasshoppers on them. I was going to say, I think I see a grasshopper. Yeah. <laughs> I say, okay. On the back, it's a flower. And then on the other side, it's a grasshopper. They sit like this, a little bit crooked. You know? <laughs> and they're such vibrant, you know, that Very, yeah, I pink and green. And I mean, these were well taken care of. Very shiny. Uh huh. The cork is inside of here, so you could spear it with a, a needle and fish it out. I mean, they're clean enough that you you could you can use them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Actually, use them. I just love this colors. It reminds me of, of um, who is it that uses these colors? Or was it Royal Dalton, something like that? I think they use these these vibrant shades of pink and green and stuff. So anyway, the, the, they are from Japan. They're going to be $12, which is cheap for these. $12, letter I. Yeah, they look fancy. Mm-hmm. I like the grasshoppers, though. I know. Well, isn't that unique? A little creepy, but I like them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I found these. I found my other anthropomorphic flower salt and pepper shakers. So I got to get them listed. So $12. So behind. Oh, I know I am too. I've just decided that I'm not going to list anything unless it's worth a lot of money. Right. <laughs> that way I get more bang for my buck. <laughs> yeah. Make it worth your while. That's right. <laughs> okay. I have a little pillow, a little granny square pillow. Handmade, 
just fun little vintage uh, polyester. Wait, is this poly double knit? Double knit fabric, right? Yeah, double knit. Mm -hmm. It's you know, it has all that texture. So it has all those fun old color patterns. It is a like 12 by 12, just a little throw pillow. And you can see that it is home stitched because they knotted it up right there. <laughs> oh, it looks kind of crazy quilty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks like a Frankenstein stitch. But I have a lot of this double knit that I did not bring to my fabric sale because I want to make little rompers for my kiddos. But it's fun patterns like this. They always make these cool cool designs like this one. Ooh, I wish I had this design, this pattern of fabric. But so just yeah, a single good, but they're hot in the summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well that's why I'm making on the halter tops, you know, they're halter mm -hmm. tops and short sets. So um those are perfect for that. So just a little throw pillow, a 12 by 12 throw pillow here. Six dollars number 17 six dollars number 17 hello carrie ann hello hello and that's mine hi carrie ann all right i have another little salt and pepper shaker this is a set of the salty and peppies little bit older on this set so peppy has his red hat salty has her white one there's their bases i'm assuming yes that they're they do they screw off i've never i've never tried never. to unscrew mine i didn't know how they come apart <laughs> i have a lot of those Watch now! I'll never be able to get her S back in front. There we go. I have a collection of those. She <laughs> imagine that Tammy has a collection of these. <laughs> these salty and peppies are not the biggest or the smallest. They're four inches, so they're about a medium size. This peppy is really dark on the bottom. I don't know if she was painted that way or if she sat too close to a burner on the stove. She doesn't smell burned, maybe. Maybe it was a long time ago. That's not part of her outfit? Uh, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if that's part of her outfit or if she sat too close to the fire. <laughs> so this song well, is all the way around. So, uh huh. Well, you they know, they had to keep turning her the toaster. <laughs> well, you know, kids, who knows? <laughs> My grandmother had a set of the 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 rooster looking wood ones. I remember that. So six dollars, six dollars on salty and peppy letter K. K is in kite. K is in kitchen. Six dollars for salty and peppy. It's too even to be burnt. Okie dokie. Okay, I have a little salt cellar wall pocket. It can sit on a shelf. I mean, it can sit on the table or it can hang on the shelf. I mean, dang, did that make sense? It can sit on the wall or hang on the shelf. It sits on a table or it, you can hang it on the wall. It's a little salt cellar with berries on it, hand painted. And it has a spoon that's hand painted as well. This salt it stands uh, about six six inches tall. The spoon is seven and a half inches. But this don't this matches it, but don't totally match it. The painting the berries are red instead of purple. So I have a little grater to go with it. But this, it was the same color scheme. When I saw this, I was like, oh, I have the matching piece. Didn't not even, this design was the same design, but I didn't realize, no, you have purple berries, not the red berries. But I got it for it anyways. I mean, well, I didn't realize it until after I'd already gotten it. 
I've but never little, seen that. Yeah, it's a little grater, a cheese grater. Ain't that cute? That is cool. At so, first, I thought you were calling it the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty tall. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if this is. Look, don't it look like it would go together? It should go together. It's the same color tone on the background. Just the berries are a different color. So I'm, that's why I'm putting it together. Garlic or ginger. Yeah, it's got little teepees on it. It's pokey. It's pokey. So this little grater is um, five inches with the little handle knob and about three and eight three and a half wide here and five inches all the way down to here. I so bet I'm going to work on the hard cheeses really well. Yeah. Like the Parmesan and stuff. I haven't tried it, so I don't know. I just recently got it. So this is going to, I'm going to sell this as a set, even though the berries are a different color. You'll see it's the same color tone green, you know, around it. And the little decorative spoon. Oop, let's turn that around. The so, spoon is a find. Having the spoon still with yes, it. Yes, with that. Spoon. Very much a find. So um, this set is going to be $15, number 18. $15, number 18. For that. And that is mine. I have two items left. What do you got? Two items left. Wow. That would be good. <laughs> what a coordination. Oh, here. Let me let me scoot you. Scoot you, scoot, 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 scoot. Okay. I have a covered ceramic container dish. You know, you could put anything in it you want. Candy, nuts, notes, keys. Karen's favorite thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> condoms it's it's got it, it's a beautiful peach it's coming across as a little orangey but it is it's a soft peach with gold like a weeping gold trim on it it's got what looks like to be maybe a medieval design on it of castles no oh. if you look at it, it looks like castles see with the the turret things at the top the battlements and then this is all raised, this design. And then here you see like the village with a couple of villagers in it. I believe it is Italian. It's even got some gold inside there. And then there's another what appears to be a castle with some trees and maybe a lake. Come on. Hello. It's got this fancy schmancy little handle on the top. Nice and clean in, uh, inside. No chips around the rim. Same thing with the lid. In great shape. It is unmarked, but the other one, other things, it, it, I, I take it back. It is marked, but it is not marked in a clear and conclusive way. It is numbered, and the way it is numbered, I have found in Italian pottery. Let me take the lid off before I drop it. This down here. I have found that on a bunch of Italian pieces. This is not a chip. The foot has got these little divots in it all the way around it. So I do believe it is Italian in origin. And it measures about five inches tall and five and a half inches wide. And is, as I said, ceramic. With a light, it's sort of a matte finish on the peach. 
and then it is more of a shiny glaze on this top trim. Pee Wee says Capri, part of Italy, I believe, or maybe it's Italian in nature. I don't know what the exact relationship Capri, the island of Capri, is with Italy. So for this, it's going to be $12, letter A. $12, letter A, for the ceramic piece. Thank you, Pee Wee. It's an isle that is part of Italy. I didn't know if Capri stood on its own or if it was part of Italy. Thank you very much for the information. So $12 letter A if anyone decides they're interested. Okay. All right. I have a one of those old... Um, I'm going to say pleather. I don't think this is leather um, or vinyl desktop desk. What do you call it? Desk covered. You put this on your your study and it opens up. It's a desk secretary, I guess you call it. And this would have the calendar. You put a calendar in here, which we can still get and do. And this holds business cards. It has little pockets like a portfolio like a yeah a portfolio, a uh -huh, I think, portfolio. I think, yeah yeah that see there's little um corners that you can put your desk calendar in there and then you put you know your important papers notes and stuff in here so business cards it is let's see this thing it's kind of large it's a uh, 21 inches long and about 15 inches wide, but very flat. Just so you set it in your desk like this. You cover up all that information where nobody can see all your scribbles and stuff on your. Uh, paper says portable desk blotter. Portable desk blotter. A blotter. Yeah, I've heard of that, but I just didn't know that they were ones that blotters were ones that closed as well. Hmm. So. I'm thinking blotter is something that you do that ink thing with that little roller. That's what I'm. Well, they do call the they do call the big ones that you put on your desk with the calendars and stuff blotters. Ooh, look at my face! I look like Woo! a ghost. You do, <laughs> creepy. Uh, that white light with this black is really washing me out. It has a gold um, gold trim design around it. It's got some weight to it. it. It's the paper. No, it's the paper. Oh, okay. But this is a this is like a linen up here. But anyways, if you have one of those fancy desks that this would work on, um. Where's Delbert? He always had, or Harry, they have fancy desks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember Harry sitting at a desk all the time. This is going to be $12, number 19. $12, number 19 for that piece. And that is mine. Okay. My last piece is a little trinket dish. And when you you'll you'll see it in my my video. Uh oh, I left that off of something. Darn, I'll have to find what that went to. <laughs> it, I it took me a while to figure out what this was when I was looking at it. It's beautiful blue art glass. Oh, double trinket dish. But then I finally figured out it's swans. Oh, it's swans. Oh, okay. It's swans, and they're kissing. It's two little kissy swans in a beautiful blue glass. This is that, um, I call it coconut blue because it reminds me of a, a coconut snow cone. Yeah, Ooh. I see that coconut snow cone. Be careful, Karen. So it measures from side to side. 
about six inches. Each swan is four and a half inches and their little heads stand a little over three. So you could use it as a little candy dish or a plentiful little trinket dish. You could separate your rings or your earrings and your necklaces. You could put it in your bathroom to put the little soaps in. You could keep lots of little sweeties in it. Or you could just let it sit and be pretty. Let the little swans swim around in your house. The little swans are $12. $12 letter T. $12 letter T. And that was my last item. That was your last. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is my last item. And my last item is going to be choice. I have two necklaces, a choice of $8. These are beads and stones on this one. And some wood grain ones. Oh, that one has a smiley face. Look at that. Glass beads. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. And then it has a wooden heart with a butterfly on it. So there's glass beads and wood trinkets on this necklace. Okay. Better come down to there. Let's see. The, the length of the necklace without the charm is um, 11 and a half inches down. And it has the adjustable um, chain. But you got Doris for tea? I do. Thank you. And so let me show you that one more time. It's different. I like that little smiley face. I didn't notice that before. It's like a little smiley fish. Yeah. Come on, focus back up. Little gl <laughs> That's cute. And it's a little wooden heart with a stamp of a butterfly. So we have the choice of that one for $8 or this all wooden one that is 11 inches long. Let me see where that one goes. And it's wooden beads. And this is an all wooden one. With this, look, see how big that medallion is? It covers the palm of my hand. The medallion itself is three inches long. So you have a choice of that one. So the two of these with the butterfly are the shell. $8 choice, number 20. $8, number 20. For those eh, my arms and that is mine i don't know if it's a particular uh designer or anything oh and the clap is number 20 and that one is a little clamp Let's see kp i mean KP, KP. KP. would you like the butterfly or the shell one or both butterfly Thank you, ma'am. It, it was the smiley fish that did her. <laughs> the, oh, the smiley fish. Yeah, that was a cutie. That was a surprise to me, too. I didn't realize it had that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. K B. Let me write that down real quick. All right. For any of y'all that weren't here at the beginning... It is time for and Miss Martha, do you want to go first? Oh, sure. Okay. 
going to try to show them to you quickly because it is speed round. But if you have any questions, if you need to see anything particular about it, just holler out, use your caps. We'll do the best we can. I have a pair of the small Berwick Booby Bubble Juice Glasses. They are $6 for the pair. $6 letter B. Then we have the Flintwood 1950s Mustard Console Dish. Um, Rinegar was one of the owners and designers. And it is $24 letter N. $24 letter N. We have the Vintage Ladies Wallet. It is embossed in a tapestry look. It's in great condition, except for the photo, clear photo packages. They um, are old and would need to be replaced. This is $7 letter H. $7 letter H. Then we have two Corningware trivets. Oops, let me set that over here. For you to choose from, I have the, the one that is has the warmer in it, the Bakelite handle and footed warmer, or I have the just the my, wire metal one. They are eight dollars each. Eight dollars each. Letter D. Oh, sit that there. Um, then I have the little glass wedding basket trinket dish. It is sort of a Coke bottle green color, has a beautiful pattern in the glass with applied handles, with a twisted look. And this is $9 letter L, $9 letter L. Then I have a stretch face it is a twisted stretch face green and clear glass it is about 10 inches i believe yes 10 inches and it is 18 dollars letter p p is in paul 18 dollars letter p i have the yellow jubilee pattern Depression dish. When I hold it like this, you can see the yellow color. I have one single dish. It's $4, letter M. I have the pair of green glass pedestals. Candles, figurines, anything you want to put on them. They're $8 for the pair, letter G. I have the fairy lamp jewelry jar. Um, has multiple pieces of jewelry in it. Two, three pieces. Margaret, hello. Hi, Margaret. Thank you, Margaret. You I said for, P? for P. Thank you. Um, four necklaces, three earring pairs. It did have a rosary, but that was sold. I will put another piece in there to replace that. Some single earrings and some craft bibs and bobs. So you get the jewelry, the home co, not home co, it's the Cubist, whichever one that is, fairy lamp, and the jewelry, and that $16, letter R, $16, letter R for the fairy lamp and the jewelry. And then I have the watermelon and cricket salt and pepper shakers. They are $12, letter I, $12, letter I. And you saw the peach and gold ceramic Italian covered dish, $12 letter A, $12 letter A. And that's me. Thank you. She just got home. Well, you made it just in time for speed round. <laughs> okay. My first item was this wired uh, plate that hung or sits on a table. It, it, it is uh, $7, number two, $7, number two. We have the little mother, uh, best mother in the world, um, Hong Kong piece, plastic. It is $6, number three, $6, number three. The coasters, the penny coasters, little fun 
drinking coasters. There we go. They, uh, for the two, for the pair, it is $7, number five, $7, number five. The little chalkware cat, carnival cat. It is $10, number six, $10, number six. You get an idea how big he is. And the oval, uh, ch what do we say? Uh, chalk. Um, he called it a, a foot bath if it had been bath. Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a ch um, Czech, Czech, yeah. Slovakia, right? Uh huh. If I'm saying that word right. Um, little oval planner, very cute, hand painted. It is $8, number 10, $8, number 10. Then the rose planter, I mean, pitcher the rose um plated silver plated rose pictures this is coming back to, in halloween time going to be painted if it don't sell which is twelve dollars number eleven twelve dollars number eleven i know some of y'all want to see that painted <laughs> and the paperweight the little um, Hearn paperweight, really heavy little sucker. Um, where are you? Is twenty dollars number twelve? Twenty dollars number twelve. Aqua little aqua color. And what do we have? Oh, the salt and pepper shaker mushrooms. Well, hello Scott. Hello, hello. Um, little salt and pepper shaker mushrooms. Let me see this different different design on each side. And these are ten dollars number fifteen. Ten dollars number fifteen. We have the decant the decanters, we call them decanters. Um yes. The set of two for eighteen dollars number sixteen. Eighteen dollars number sixteen. And the little pillow. The handmade pillow, six dollars number seventeen, six dollars number seventeen. The little throw pillow, and then we had the little salt cellar, and the little grater with the spoon, fifteen dollars number eighteen, fifteen dollars number eighteen. All right, Karen, I see you for number fifteen, and then we had the desk secretary or what do we call that a little desk secretary that is twelve dollars number nineteen twelve dollars number nineteen and then the last necklace with the little wooden shell is uh eight dollars number twenty eight dollars number twenty and and Margaret, I mean, uh, Martha, did you see Margaret? I did. I held him up while you were talking. Okay, okay. I got you, Margaret. Thank you very much. And let me mark um, Karen down for number 15, the mushrooms. Karen, I know you paid for your order. I have not shipped it yet. Let me uh, repack, since they're so little, I can repack these in there. And it probably won't change the shipping. So let me try that. So, since I still have your package, I haven't gotten it out today. So, and that's Very everything. Good. Very good. Yay. Thank you, guys. Now we got 41 in here. Well, y'all just go back to the replay, to the speed round, and see what's left. And see if y'all are interested in anything and just message us. And we'll be happy to get that to you. We'll just hang on for just a second quick. Right now, just speed through from Speed Racer. And look and see if we hold up anything you want. <laughs> and we look so clear today, Helen said. Julie, <laughs> does does Tammy have your information? She just sent it to me. Okay, then I can get it from her. You don't need to send it to both. I know, Margaret. The green base. <laughs> she had a couple of bases. She sold one of them. Yeah, Which base? The green one? 
Yeah, I think she was talking about the green one, the twisted one. I already oh, I thought that one did sell. Yeah, that's what I said. So she's saying she was surprised nobody took it before. Oh, I thought it did sell the first time around. Okay. No, uh -uh, not the first time around. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah, if, if y'all remember, we do have a sell tomorrow night, David and I, and it's all clear glass. We're bringing back the clear glass. That's what's coming tomorrow. I had a little sneak preview. I did a little short on it. So, and right. it was so good with the black background. Yeah, I did have it on the white background, my, my typical background, and it was mm -hmm. fading out. And I sent it to my sister. She goes, Tammy, you need to get something black. You need to get some velvet. I girl, I don't have no velvet. <laughs> it don't look velvet is not good because velvet picks up the light and turns into a, a white, gray, shadowy looking oh, thing. Okay. Because well, I know I tried it. I Just had regular some, black. I had some double knit black. And that's what that's, I used. That's, yeah. And your black looked really good. So. <laughs> so I had to scrunch it all up in there. So that's what's coming tomorrow. So I am combining Martha's stuff, my stuff from today with tomorrow's sale. So if y'all purchase anything from either sale, we're going to combine the shipping. So that makes it easier on y'all and saves me packing material. Well, boxes anyways. So. <laughs> well, I was struggling for boxes last nice. week. <laughs> I just got a, I just, I went out and bought bubble wrap because I was short on bubble wrap. I had a stop and, <laughs> and the next day I went, got some bubble wrap, came home, started packing and my bubble wrap came in <laughs> right after I got home. Uh. Thank you, KB. You have a good evening too. Thank you. Oh, hi, Helen. Helen was here. Yeah. I said hi to her I earlier and Helen. thank you KB, for her. coming. Thank you everybody. We appreciate your conversation and your your information we're here every tuesday <laughs> we're, we're here to be taught every tuesday porcelain chinese foot bath don't yes i'm going to look it up i know david looked it up once and i don't remember now We've, i've had it for a little while but it's been sitting there on the shelf so i was like gotta bring it to see if i can let it go somewhere let somebody else love it yeah, well, because you have to charge more online because they have higher fees. Yes. When you go to a site, it's more than just the little bit that PayPal charges you. It's that plus all the fees of eBay or Mercari or whatever. So so if you see yeah, that's why I would on our sites, contact us. Not yeah. through not through the platform. Contact us through our emails. Yeah. If you know us, email us. Otherwise, yeah. you know, I get my whole inventory is on Macari. My whole inventory is up there. And slowly I'll be listing more and more stuff on district. <laughs> now, I cannot guarantee for you that everything Tammy has listed is still there because she forgets <laughs> to go and get rid of it. <laughs> when I have to. I, I do have to, after this sale, I do have to go on my Macari and make sure, okay, did I have anything up there that I need to delete, delete, you know, before, cause I, oh because my God, there's so many having a double, yeah, double sale on something that is already gone. <laughs> I have to tell them, I'm sorry. <laughs> I try to keep up with it. I mean, I do, I, I do try to keep up with it. It's only happened to me once so far since I've been doing it. <laughs> so, yeah. But I always give a better price if you contact me through email. Because mm -hmm, we don't have to pay all those extra fees. Yeah. So, But I like having it. That's my store. That's my booth. Because I don't have a mall to go to. Oh, I was going to tell you. Do you know that Alvin Antique Mall closed down? <gasps> Seriously. No wonder you can't get a booth anywhere else. Because all of them people are now out there trying to find a booth. <laughs> and that was a lot of people in there. They sold the property, I found out. We need to open a booth. And we need booth. to open a whole building. <laughs> I know. We need a building. It's it's so easier scary. said than done, isn't it? Um, but uh, oh, we are Gary going back to one. We found huh? Gary and I found this place that we would love to buy. It's an it's it's in a little town, but it's on a street that's got antique uh, stores and things like that, and they hold markets and stuff. It's an old bus station. Oh, oh, 
home. It's got so it's got glass windows and it's got the bus sign and oh, it's, that's cool. it's got the mid-century design. It's got enough room in the back to make like a, an apartment and then still have oh, a wow. Oh, is it a town you'd like to move to? Sure. How far away is this town? Mm, it's it's in Conroe. Oh, it's in Conroe? It's in Conroe. Mm -hmm. Well, that's really close. I know. And Conroe and, and their downtown area? Down there where all the antique stores are and stuff? Yeah, there's there's one of the stores I've been seeing on my Facebook feed, a new vendor in one of those malls if that you, I want to go check out. If you if, if you come down from where the four corner is, from where all the antiques, on one of those streets, if you go on down it, at the end of all those buildings is the old bus station. Oh, it's it's got its own little it's across the little street, you know, and, uh -huh. and then across the street from it is where they were setting up having a festival and stuff. Well, and Conroe is a pretty, uh, you know, close yeah. for other towns to come visit. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not far from Houston. So hey. right. do it. Buy it. Let's go. <laughs> I, my, my sister, my daughter would be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> you got to think of what's best for you, what you could have and what you could do and get comfortable. Well, so. um, I got it written down in there. I'm supposed to check and see what, you know, who owns it. They want to sell it. Yeah, how say, at least go it. check it out and see what they say. Go, go see what the ins and out is. I'm curious what the price is, you know, go check it out. We'll, we'll make stuff happen. We'll make the whole town start doing more festivals and more. Okay, but you have to come to me instead of me coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I, like got, I got all the other stores. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be worth doing that. That would be fun. We do live shopping all the time, y'all. <laughs> the, the Tammy section right over here where Tammy got her stuff. <laughs> I do my own little, my baby shop right here, my um, mid-century right there, my catch, my kitch, kitch catch over there. Wait a minute. Suddenly my store is filled only with Tammy stuff. <laughs> I could probably fill a whole store. So could I, dear. <laughs> I know between the two of us we could. So yeah, definitely. Thank you, Doris. Steph. Thanks, Doris. So, well, y'all, thanks for coming and listen to us chat and and you know chit chat again. If you see anything, let us know. Feel free to email us. I'm gonna go work on some hauls. I got three piles of stuff to do a haul on. I just finished my my round top shop along. I got it all set out on the coffee table so I can do my haul video. And then I still have honey hose stuff to do. And then I have my miscellaneous um, stuff that I've been picking up from little stops here and there sitting on the table because I don't even remember where they're from. So I got three haul videos to come. And that's not accounting, including the stuff outside that I still haven't gotten to <laughs> that's sitting in my shipping room. And that she's got help. new videos up from going to Round Top. There's a new yeah, one up today that I haven't watched. So And that's that's the end of my Round Top videos. And hopefully I'm going to get out my oddities video because I'm excited to get that craziness out to show. So, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. And, and then we're going to shopping one more time to Round Top this weekend, to Friday. So we went three times. This will be our third time coming this Friday. Well, that's it's not you know, like your usual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had it really fitted in because we got lucky to go the last time we just went because David got um, closed down for. Oh, because it was a, a spring break weekend for the school district that he works at. Number 19. Well, Doris has decided to slide in number 19. Well, look at that. We're chit-chatting and she went and watched the end of the video. You want the I, desk I, thing? I said, y'all, everybody go and slide through that yeah, screen around right. if you weren't there for it. And Well, thank you, Doris. Water like for that. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. 
You know, I think they used to like people to, when they would sign documents, they would lay them on the leather thing. So I think like a lawyer could take that, you know, take his documents that need to be signed, open it up, pull them out and lay them on top of the leather. And it gives you a good backing for signing documents. Oh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank so. you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I got to go start figuring out what I'm going to make my people eat for dinner. I'm coming over because I'm home alone now. Everybody's gone. David went to umpire. So, well, I'm probably going to go make him get me a salad somewhere. So, do you want a salad? <laughs> yeah. Send him. Hey, have my, uh, Mr. Uber driver send me a salad too. <laughs> You're the only one with an Uber driver. <laughs> I got to trade sexual favors for mine. <laughs> She didn't. Y'all didn't hear a thing. Y'all didn't hear a thing. <laughs> see, see the bonus y'all get if y'all stick around. That. <laughs> okay, you guys. Again, thanks for joining us, and we will see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye.